Hello guys, England here and today's video we are gonna see how many countries England and later the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland and more later the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland has invaded in its entire history. Spoiler alert, they invaded a lot of countries. But we are also gonna see what happened after the invasion as well. Then let's start with the British Isles itself. The first spot was England itself. Actually the invasion was done by the Anglo-Saxons. The Wessex invaded large chunk of land which later became England and before the creation of the United Kingdom England had invaded Scotland as well and then they invaded this area which is now called Wales and after many years of conquest they took control over the entire island of Ireland and in 1707 after the Act of Union United Kingdom became a thing. As we are done with the islands, let's move on to the mainland Europe. The first country from the European mainland we have France. France has been invaded by the British more times than any other nation in the entire world. And also the English ruled a large chunk of French land for a time. British also invaded Belgium to support them in both world wars. But they have also invaded Belgium very early. And then we have Spain. And still today Britain owns the Gibraltar area. And then we have Portugal which was invaded after they got over and by Spain. Spain and France during the Napoleonic Wars. Netherlands or if you're gonna say it perfectly, the Dutch were one of the Britain's main rivals. That's why they are also been invaded many times. Then we have Denmark with one of the funniest lines set by Oversimpler and it happened during the Napoleonic Wars. Norway was also invaded by the British during the Napoleonic Wars because it was a part of the Denmark Norway. Finland, Estonia, Libya and Lithuania were invaded by the British Army during the Crimean War when they were the part of Russian Empire. Russia was also invaded during the Russian Revolution and Russian Civil War. Ukraine was also invaded during the Crimean War. Germany was also been invaded by Britain during the World Wars. And after World War II, UK owned a large chunk of German land. But that was not the only German land that Britain ever controlled. If you go back in history, Holocaust was the British colony and the Kingdom of Hanover was ruled under a personal union. Austria was also invaded during World War II. Italy as well. Greece was also been invaded during both World Wars and Greek Civil War. Bulgaria was also been invaded during the First World War. Every single Balkan country was invaded by Britain during both world wars. Turkey was also been invaded by the British during the first world war. Cyprus was a British protectorate. But still today there are two chunks they are still British. And the British also did a friendly invasion of Iceland. And I also forgot to say about this small island. That was Europe. Now let's go to the Africa. After the Berlin Conference, Britain gained these lands. But during the first world war, Britain has invaded German colonies as well. And also during the second world war, Britain has invaded Ethiopia, Libya, Eritrea and Somalia. After the fall of France, Germany took control over some French colonies. So Britain has invaded them as well. And after America joined the war, Great Britain free France and America did this. Proud of them, boys. <laughs> as we are done with Africa, let's move on to Asia. After World War I, Israel and Palestine became British colonies. Lebanon, Jordan, Syria were also been invaded by the British. Iraq, Bahrain, Qatar, UAE, Yemen, Oman were also been invaded and controlled by the British. Iran was also been invaded by the British and the Soviets. Jordan, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan were also been invaded by the British in some point in their history. Afghanistan was also invaded by the British and you guys know how that went. India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka which became the crown jewel of the empire. Myanmar was also been invaded by the British. Even having a different colonial government, we still count Myanmar as a part of the British Raj. Nepal was also been invaded by the British because the British wanted to make a free trade route to China. Bhutan also got invaded. Thailand and Vietnam was also invaded during the Second World War. Malaysia, Singapore and Brunei were British colonies for a long time. Philippines and Indonesia were also been invaded by the British during the Seven Years' War. China also got invaded so many times. And this is where the British Empire ended with Hong Kong. Britain never invaded Japan but after World War II, they controlled some land for a time. With other UN members, Britain invaded both Koreas during the Korean War. As we done with Asia, let's move on to Oceania. Australia and New Zealand were British colonies for a long time as well. Papua New Guinea was also invaded and controlled. Britain also owned so many islands here as well. Now let's move on to Americas. Entire Canada was a British colony. United States was also a colony and they got invaded during the American Revolutionary Wars and again in War of 1812. Mexico was also been invaded by the British Royal Navy. Cuba was also been invaded by the British during the Seven Years' War. These areas as well. 
and they also had tons of island colonies. My system cannot even show how many. They also had invaded Panama during the Seven Years' War. Guyana also was a British colony. They also invaded Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador and Peru during Seven Years' War and the Napoleonic Wars. They didn't directly invaded Brazil but they used their navy to blockade it. Chile and Bolivia was also invaded, Uruguay and Argentina as well. And the Falklands are still a British overseas colonies with others. It's a surprising fact that how a small island nation can do this. UK had the largest empire ever possible in human history. But everything has an end. After the Second World War, UK was not capable to fund his navy and maintain its empire. But without the British Empire, the world may have looked very, very different. After the loss of the Queen, its existence being questioned. Will the United Kingdom will unite it forever, or will it break like other sovereign states? I hope you liked the video, and if I did any mistakes, please comment below.